Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Goblin Drill on Top Ladder. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be playing this really fast cycle Mighty Manor deck. Um, Mighty Manor makes it so fun that you can spam so much Goblin Drill in single. I love the fact that this deck is like 2 point something cycle. I'm going to go for a Fireball on defense here, but one downside of the deck is that you don't have a lot of air cards. You only have a Fireball and a Fire Spirit, so... Lava Hound is kind of an impossible matchup, and so is like Balloon Cycle and stuff, but except for that, I think any other matchup is either good or at least winnable. Anyways, I'm going to focus on the game now, so Rascal's Bait is going to be a really good matchup. He can't really get damage because my cycle is so quick, so I can afford to even like log on offense and try to get back to a second one. I don't think he's really going to be able to outcycle me to try to get damage, because the whole point of log bait is you try to like bait out the log and then outcycle the log with the Goblin Barrel, but... For a deck like this, you can't really do anything because I'm going to be back to so many other barrel counters as well. So I feel like I completely hard countered this guy. I could go for the wall breakers on the right, but I'm down like three elixir right now. So I'm going to let him make the first play. Probably going to go for like a princess at the bridge, I was going to say, but he played it in the back. I'm going to fireball that. Might be kind of a dumb play, but I want to fireball this to see if he's going to prince in the back and try to go rascals. It's still single elixir, so I'm not really worried about the deck. I think the deck gets more scary in double, but even in single, I kind of have to watch out. Gonna Fire Spirit in the back. I'm gonna Mighty Miner on the right. Don't really have a second place, so I'm gonna have to Mighty here. Prince in the back left. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Evo Skellies on it, but not right away, though, obviously. Actually, gonna Evo Skellies on the right. Um, he played the Evo Barrel, so I kind of had to change my plans and like quickly defend everything, but that worked out pretty fine, I would say. Cannon on the field, so he can't Princess at the bridge. I'm going to go for a Goblin Drill. He only has like four Elixir right now. What's he going to do for this? I think he just lost, by the way. He can't log on time for him to prevent the Wallbreaker damage. Let's go. Evil Wallbreakers are so good. Okay, the moment he played the Dark Goblin, I kind of figured that he wasn't going to be able to log on time to defend everything, so I got a ton of damage. I'm going to Cannon here just to not let him Princess. He plays it in the back. I'm probably going to have to double Fire Spirit that. It might sound weird, but I'm going to need my Fireball for the Rascal. So I'm going to Fire Spirit in the back right now so that I get back to the second one. Pretty quick so I can play it on the left. Going to go for Skelly's the middle. Log him back to Fire Spirit. So I'm going to play a second one. That was so clean. I can't even... Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. What? Okay. We're just going to call that a prediction Fire Spirit. Yeah, I totally knew he was going to Goblin Gang. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, I wanted to take out the princess, but accidentally got fed a whole goblin gang. So that is going to be a good game. Once again, logbait super free matchup. Um, the only hard logbait variant, or like just a tiny bit harder than this, would be the normal logbait variant. But anyways, I'm going to hop right in. I will see you in my next match. Artem in my next match. Or what the hell? I just manifested a logbait player. Okay, this guy plays normal logbait, but with a mighty miner. He has like Electro Spirit, Tesla, and stuff. Hey, this is crazy. I was just talking about the normal logbait. Going to go for a log right now. Gonna go for wall breakers in the middle. So yeah, this one's gonna be also easy, but just have to be a little bit more careful because they can actually outplay me with the Evo Skeletons on this one, which is why I think it's a little bit harder than the last one, but still super easy though. All I have to do is spam some Goblin Barrel and Fireballs and I'll win the game. Okay, see what he does here. Probably gonna go for a Princess or something. So I'm gonna kind of prevent it right now or try to at least. Fire Spirit on the right. Let's see if I can bait out like a Mighty Manor. Electro Spirit. I'm going to go for a Mighty Miner on the right. He's probably going to Princess on the left. But I'm just going to Goblin Drill on the right because my cycle is so bad for that. So I need to go for Skellies now and then I need to go for the Wall Breakers. Okay, never mind. Can't go Wall Breakers on time, but that is going to be a ton of damage though. Yo. Okay, he had to log early. Hold on. It's going to be like two more hits. Nice. Okay. This is still really good. Even though I took a lot of damage in single, I'm going opposite lane, so it's going to be really nice. He can't, like, log my wall breakers same lane and get the tower damage and kill my wall breakers at the same time, so... I'm kind of doing fine on that. I'm going to go for a log right now on the right. Wait, how's he going to defend my wall breakers? Hold up, I think I just might have done something here. I'm going to fireball too. A bit of an overcommit, but I knew that he was going to evo skelly, so it worked out. Let's go. I'm up so much right now, and he's not even back to princess. Looking good, he could barrel. Wait, that's in the front. Uh, I'm blind? Okay, I had to double defend the barrel because I'm blind. But it's okay. All good. As long as I don't take any damage here. I'm probably going to cannon in the middle to prevent the princess. Or actually, wait. I'm not going to do it right away because then he could rock at my tower. So probably going to eat the one shot and then do it. Uh, I'll just do it now, whatever. Mighty in the back to cycle. This means he's definitely going to rock it, by the way, because he put a mighty in the back. So... Probably going to get like two rockets on my tower. I'm going to have to spam some goblin drill fireballs. I need to make him defend so that he can't. 
get a third rocket down because usually when they go for a mighty in the back they get like up to three rockets down i'm gonna go for a log right now on offense i don't really care that i logged on offense because i do have a lot of defense for the barrel okay i'm gonna fire spirit on the side and then yeah i should be able to defend yo he played it in the front so i was able to defend either way i think i messed up a little bit though i think i took one shot from one of the goblins but it's okay gonna go for a cannon on the princess should be dead he kind of played that a tiny bit late gonna go for a goblin drill i'm gonna go for skeletons also gonna go for a log and then fire spirit on the side distract no that's on tower i'm gonna go for a cannon he's probably gonna barrel i need the wall breakers on defense for the inside goblins i think this distracts both yeah that kind of distracted both but not for a long time i took one shot still okay this should be fine though i think i win from this position still i'm gonna go for a mighty in the middle then I'm going to go for a Goblin Drill on the right. The only reason I put a Mighty in the middle is because I thought the rocket was going to hit my cannon. So, like, he would be able to Princess right away, but he wasn't able to do so. It's okay, though. Goblin, come on. I need some damage, please. One shot. Okay, I'm going to have to keep spamming, I guess. Going to go for a Goblin Drill. That's in the front, so I'm going to go for Evo Skellies. Okay, I'm glad I saw that one. I'm going to go for a Log. Maybe should have Fireballed, but I don't know what made me want to Log there, but I really wanted to Log. Gonna go for a wall breakers on the right, and I am also gonna have to fireball cycle, but I need a little bit, like a tiny bit more damage before I can actually fireball cycle. No, one shot again. Okay, that's gonna be double rocket and a log. I think I win here though. I don't think he's gonna be able to get a mighty down on time or a Tesla. Nice, okay. I'll take the win, super easy win. Not really, kinda got close at the end, but I'll take the win. Gonna hop right in and see when I find a match. Artem in my next match here. I'm pretty sure this guy's like a TikTok streamer, and I'm pretty sure I've heard people say he's really bad at the game, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know what deck he's playing yet. I'm gonna go for a Mighty Manor on the side. Okay. Ice Spirit could be any kind of cycle deck. Mighty Manor and Ice Spirit, huh? That could be Hog. Okay, I'm gonna drill on the left, and I'm also gonna pop my Mighty Manor ability to tank for the drill. I'm gonna try everything in my power to kind of get him to mess up the log. I think I could actually pull it off right now. Wait, Fireball? Yo! Oh my god, let's go. Dude, I knew that he was going to mess that up. People mess it up so much. If you tank for the drill, people can't really log on time. Wait, he's going to have to defend the wall breakers. I'm going to predict a hog at four, actually. Yo, let's go. Oh my god. That wasn't really like a prediction because I would have went wall breakers either way. But I kind of knew that he was going to hog because a lot of people don't expect that either. Second thing is that if the firecracker's at a distance, like you can wall breakers at the bridge and it won't hit the wall breakers. The breakers will just kind of dodge and then make it to the tower, so that was really good. I got a fat defense, and I also got some fat damage on the tower, so I'll take that. Plus, I got a king tower activation. Yo, this game's, like, over, basically. Don't want to be too overconfident, but, yeah, this game's looking really good. Drill on the side. Don't want to play it in the front back-to-back, because -back I didn't want to be predictable. Okay, that's, like, six elixir on the drill. Oh, my God. That's so much elixir. He can't even earthquake, I don't think. Yeah, like he has no elixir right now. Can't even defend the second breaker or earthquake on offense. So I'll take it easy defense. Um, I could probably drill again, but I'm going to wait till the Tesla dies. Don't want to do it right away. Um, I mean, I could like I could get away with it, but safer not to do so. going to go for a goblin drill in the front and then I'm probably going to log in the front as well. Like right now, pre log. Uh, I tried to hit like skellies or whatever, but he played a mighty manner. Smart, but not too bad, though. At this point, like, 1,600 is, like, four or five fireballs, I think. Like, five fireballs and a few logs, and I win the game. So I just have to defend well now. I'm going to go for a fireball. I'm just going to wait and see if he's going to hog. If he hogs, I'm going to push it into my cannon. If not, I'm just going to goblin drill. Okay, I'll goblin drill now. I'm going to go for a log as well. Probably going to pop up. Yeah, the Tesla does pop up. I get no damage here. Yo, what? Where's the log? Why did he log so late? Okay. I got one shot because he logs so late, man. He's messing up every defense. I don't think he's actually played like one defense right the entire game. Embarrassing gameplay, but just going to go for a goblin drill on the side. Going to go for a fire spirit to push it into my cannon. Dude, he's actively getting double drilled. I've got two drills on the tower or like the second one's going to spawn, but the first one's going to die. But yeah, that is the anti-earthquake placement, by the way. You can place the cannon one tile to the right lane all the way up high, and then you can... Use either a one elixir card or a log to push it in. I mean, you could push it in with like even like Mighty Miner and stuff, but it's better if you push it with a one elixir card. That way you don't spend a lot on the hog rider. But I'll take the win. Super clean gameplay. Gonna hop right in, see when I find a match. Artem in my next matcher. See what deck this guy's playing. He's got the Dagger Duchess, so I can't really wall breakers as often, but 
see what deck he's playing though could change the matchup depending on what deck he's playing but hopefully not wallbreakers as well okay this could be magic archer he played skellies so it could be like minor magic archer could also be goblin drill musketeer what okay wait i'm gonna goblin drill i don't know what deck he's playing fire spirit as well oh okay it's gonna be like the spammy stuff all right i think i should be able to win this not gonna lie Skelly's over here. I'm gonna go for a Mighty Miner to pull it more inside and also protect the cannon so that it takes out the recruits at least. I'm gonna go for a second cannon all the way up high to defend the Skelly Barrel. I don't think he's gonna wall breakers right away. He's probably gonna wait till the cannon dies. So I'm gonna place a perfect Fire Spirit right now to push both of them out and fully defend that. Okay, perfect. Looking good, I could probably wall breakers and Goblin Drill right now because I don't think he has a lot of defense for it. Probably has like a Musketeer back, but that's it. I don't know if he has a spell. Arrows, question mark? Or not. Okay, that was a ton of damage. To be fair, I don't think he could have afforded it, even if he had arrows in the deck, which I assume he does have arrows, probably. But I'll take all that damage, though. That was really good pressure. Um, probably going to Evo recruits. I'm going to go for a log fireball on the right. And then I'll try to go for Evo skellies on the left, but I'm going to have to distract it so that my Evo skellies don't sell. I hate doing that so much. Yeah, I had a feeling he had arrows. He just couldn't afford it on the right lane when I went in, so that's really good. Gonna go for a log on the wall breaker. See, so yeah, this game's like just about over. I think I just need to pressure a few more times. Probably gonna goblin gang or try to go for barrel. Let's go for the barrel. So I'm gonna cannon. It's gonna goblin gang after though. I think. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes goblin gang after. I'm gonna go for a fire spirit behind the goblin gang to full counter it. Gonna take like two spirit gob hits maybe. No, not even two, just one. Gonna go for a goblin drill on the right. I'm gonna go for wall breakers Evo, and this should be I think good game. Kind of emoting too early, but I don't see him defending this. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's kind of expected. If you don't have a log in your deck, you can't really defend the Goblin Drill or the Wall Breakers. Like you guys saw there, I played two Goblin Drills in total, I think, and I took out the entire tower, or maybe three. But yeah, I took the entire tower, so I'll take that for sure. Gonna have to defend for like the next 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna go for a Fire Spirit on the Skelly Barrel to keep the cannon alive. Perfect. Mighty Miner ability gonna take out the one HP Musket. I'm gonna go for a second cannon to take out the um recruits and stuff gonna pull everything in the middle okay looking good i can also mighty miner in the middle i'm gonna go for a fire spray for the evo skellies and then i can probably second cannon on the skelly bear yo look at that my both my towers are at the same hp okay please don't arrows don't mess it up do not mess it up <laughs> wait i'm actually gonna try to stack up two goblin drills i think i can do it just like last game yeah, I was back to it, but can't place it down on time. I can't wait for the Goblin Drill Evo to come out, though. It's going to be so fun, but I will take the win. Going to hop right in. All right, I'm in my next match here. See what deck he's playing. I am probably going to go for a Goblin Drill first play. Pretty awkward cycle, and he's playing Dagger Duchess. Also didn't want to log first play because it could have been log bait, but Bats and Skelly King. Okay, this could be like Giant, Minion Horde, Three Musketeer. Could also be a different deck like Eagle, for example, but... I think I counter both. I counter like basically any kind of like ground beatdown deck or like control deck. So I think I'll be fine. Wallbreakers to push the Mighty Miner in. Yo, that's going to be some damage. I'm not going to pop the ability. I mean, I could have, but I kind of wanted to let it heat up, get the max damage that it would get on the tower. I'm going to go for Skellies in the middle to pull the Barbarian back in. Okay, so I know what deck he's playing now. He's got like Pump and Minion Horde, Bats, Three Musketeers, all that stuff. Probably even a minor. I don't know though. Like, I'm not sure, but probably is like minor Goblin Gang. Wait, that's over eight cards. <laughs> okay, not all those cards, but he's gonna have like a similar kind of deck. I need to find out later on. But for now, I'm gonna Goblin Drill and straight into a Skelly King. So definitely not gonna be fun. Yo, Wallbreaker, go, 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 go. Oh my god, amazing. Perfect. I don't know why he didn't try the arrows there, but I'll take it. That was not too bad. I'm gonna go for a Mighty Miner on the Skelly King. Popped it too early this time around to block the Mighty, but still was not early enough for him to completely block the Mighty. Mighty took out the Skelly King. Probably gonna batter him, but I'm just gonna Skelly's here to cycle. Okay, gonna cannon in the middle now. He has no daggers currently. I could go for the drill, but I'm down Elixir, so I don't want to. Also need to go for a Fire Spirit on defense. I believe he is back to Evil Bats as well, so... Huh, let's see if I can bait out the evil bats and take them out with the evil wall breakers when they connect on the tower, hopefully. Uh, question mark? Oh, that doesn't take it out, what? Wow, okay, I really thought the tiny wall breaker would take out the bats as well, but I guess not. That's something I need to keep in mind. 
Okay, so anyways, I could be in a really tough spot because I let him get a pump down. I did not fireable the pump, so I'm going to have to Mighty in the back, and I'm not going to let him get a second one down, though. If he goes for a second pump, I'm definitely going to fireable or, like, do drill in the back and then bait out the goblinging and then go fireable on this. If he's smart, he's not going to play it. Yeah, okay, that was a really good minion horde, but my fire spirit was able to take it out. I'm going to go for a log on the batter ram. I'm also going to evo skill. Yo, batter ram. Okay. Kind of late Evo Skellies. I should have played that early. I don't know why I had a brain freeze moment right there, but should be good defense. I'm gonna wall breakers to kite these over, gonna goblin drill, and then I could log predict, but I think he's back to Skelly King with the bats down, so he's gonna be able to defend it. Alright, not too bad. I took a lot of damage, but still gonna win this game, hopefully. I'm um, just gonna fireball on the pump. He can't minion horde at all. If he goes on the right lane, I can pop my ability. If he goes on the left, double fire spirit, so. Can't really do much right now. I'm gonna go for a cannon though, pre cannon for the batter ram in the back. Gonna go for a goblin drill on the right as well. I'm gonna pop my ability on this. Oh, I could, I should have pre fireballed there. I don't know why I didn't. I also knew that he wasn't back to uh, Skelly King, but I wasn't really confident that he was gonna minion hard. I thought he would like minor on defense or something. It's okay though, Skelly's in the back. Gonna go for a goblin drill sometime soon. Okay, never mind. I need to defend now. I can't go for a goblin drill. I'm gonna go for a log on the left to take out the Goblin King right away. I'm gonna go for a Mighty at the bridge on the right to take out the Skelly King. Okay, Skelly's in the back and then I can cannon over here. I don't want to just fireball the bat, so I wanted to pull the barbs and then get a fireball down. Okay, really value fireball. I'm gonna go for a fire spirit to kill the um, spear gobs and stuff. And that was good defense. I kind of split damage perfectly evenly. I don't know how I pulled that off, but we take those. Um, those are gonna kill the minion horde. Nice. Yo, go. Okay, let's go. That's gonna be a good game. I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing Expo. So, love you.